Annette Lavaise has been the chief editor of Women's Health magazine in the Netherlands. Now she's a freelance journalist that writes about health, psychology, and nature. A few years ago, she heard of Shinrin Yoku, also known as Forest Bathing, the Japanese art against stress through nature, and decided to write her first book about it. The Malpaso Publishing House has recently translated it into Spanish, and I was able to talk with Annette in the Malpaso Bookshop in Barcelona. Hello Annette. Hello. Thank you very much for being here today and congratulations for your new book. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> first of all, um, I was surprised to read um, that the first time you heard about Shinrin Yoku, you thought it was some kind of you know secret meetings and yes. shamanic rituals in the middle yes. of the forest. Yeah. I mean, but then you realized it had nothing to do with what you had imagined. Yeah. So how was the process of understanding Shinrin Yoku and decided deciding to write a book about it? Um, it was actually... Uh, Shinra Yoku was mostly for me a recognition or uh -huh. yeah, confirming a feeling that I was already... Yeah, I already had inside. Mm -hmm. like that nature is healing on several levels. I grew up uh, on a farm in a little town close uh -huh. to the, in the Netherlands, close to the Belgian border. Uh, and our house was surrounded by forests. Mm -hmm. So as a kid I used to play like every day out, outdoors. I felt very much connected to nature. But of course I grew up, life happened, mm -hmm. uh, moved to the city to study, uh, got a stressful job as an editor, mm -hmm. deadlines, now you know the drill, I think we all <laughs> know it. I tried all kinds of mindfulness courses, mm -hmm. yoga, yoga, meditation. Well. I even went on a Vipassana retreat, like mm -hmm. a 10-day silent meditation retreat. Mm -hmm. It was all great, but like when I came back home and to sit on that meditation pillow and do my daily practice and meditation, I found it very difficult. I couldn't find the inner peace. So I was asking myself, okay, what truly calms you down in it? Mm -hmm. And the answer was nature. So I decided to go more, in, of, more often into nature. I went camping, I did solo trekking like all over the world. Mm -hmm. And it really helped me to calm down, but also like to get uh, peace of mind and also a clear mind. Now, after I came back from a trip to Tasmania, and I was describing my magical experience to my friend in a cafe, mm -hmm. and she said, Annette, did you know that they have a word for this in, uh, <laughs> in Japanese, Shinrin Yoku? I said, oh, really? Really? Yeah, of course, the Japanese have a word. They have a beautiful word for everything. Mm -hmm. So, and then my first thought was, wow, maybe because they have <laughs> such a... A beautiful culture, they mm -hmm. must have rituals and like forest, they call it forest bathing, so I can mm -hmm. be naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever take a bath without, with your clothes on? Mm -hmm. So, no, yeah, and I started researching because I was intrigued. I went to Japan as well to research it. And then I found out that it's not like a therapy with rules and you need to do this and this and then you feel happy and healthy yeah. again. It is more like, if, yeah, for me it's more the philosophical concept of the healing force of nature. Mm -hmm. In the book there are multiple exercises to enjoy forest bathing. Yeah. And with yeah. your clothes on. <laughs> yes. And mm -hmm. hands, observation, meditation, self-consciousness, yeah. creativity. I mean you even encourage people to write hikers, right? Yes, so why not? <laughs> yeah. Is there any exercise that you particularly like? Um, now, what I always do myself, there's a very simple exercise, and mm -hmm. I also describe it in the book, and it's like, um, yeah, visualize you're a tree. Mm -hmm. So just stand upright and feel how the roots reach into the earth, mm -hmm. and not only to get nutrition and, and water from the soil, mm -hmm. but also to release the surplus of energy we have during the day. Because it's like a, a two-way road. Mm -hmm. That's all very easy <laughs> and approachable because I... Yeah, it should be for everyone, I think. Yeah. Do you think going some forest bathing sessions around Barcelona these days? I mean, yes. how, how was that? Do you it was think amazing. Yeah? It was really special to see uh, 
because there will be forest bathing sessions in Netherlands coming up as well. Oh, but great. Barcelona has the scoop because the book will be f published here first and then in two weeks in the Netherlands. Wow! So here I was really like surprised to see like in the beginning people are like waiting and want to let, hear more, uh, curious about what mm -hmm. is in Yoku. It means that we slow down our pace and take the natural surroundings in with all of our senses. Now, especially now in spring, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And also to feel it, just touch a tree. You don't need to hug it if you don't want to, just <laughs> touch it or touch the soil. But then with these forest bathing sessions, we went to Cosarola and to La Cittadella, the mm -hmm. park, and even yeah. in the park, we were walking slowly and then we lie down on the lawn, mm -hmm. eyes closed, focusing on our breathing. And you could feel like a calmness coming over us. Everybody was very relaxed and into. There were noise, in, uh, the traffic noise in the background. Mm -hmm. And when I asked afterward, what did you notice most? And it was the bird song. They didn't even notice no. the traffic because that fades away, this background noise. Wow. So even in a city park, you can mm -hmm. have the benefits of sharing yoga. Quotes yeah. uh, from very different personalities. I yeah. mean, Greek philosophers, Oriental yeah. masters, movie characters, yeah. scientific geniuses like Einstein. Yeah. I mean, in fact, you finished the book with a poem by Federico García Lorca. Yeah. So, was it laborious to collect them? I mean, how long did it take you? Uh, now, I love I love quotes about nature, mm. so I had already <laughs> I had quite a library already. Uh, and I love Lorca. I also thought like to show people that there's like that nature is healing. It's not mm -hmm. something new. It's an ancient wisdom, and it's also not solely uniquely for Japan or for the Far East. Yeah, I mean the powers of nature is something we've already known, but now we yeah. can prove it, right? That's exactly no, because we all know like a forest walk is healthy, of course, it calms us <laughs> down. But now there's also been like so many studies all over the world, not just in Japan, but also mm -hmm. yeah, at the University of Barcelona. They have proven the, yeah, that nature is beneficial to our health. Now to name a few uh, examples, uh, already like a forest bath of 40 minutes lowers our blood pressure, lowers our heart rate, activates our immune system, improves our concentration, boosts our creativity, uh, helps with against sleeping problems, stress, anxiety, depression. And I was like, that was I think one of the things that astounded me most in my research. Mm -hmm. That is one. Wow, there's so much and that's what I thought. You could write a book on this. <laughs> So, that's how it happened. <laughs> Finally, can you give me one or two words that describe what this art meant to you in order to convince um, those who are sceptical with us? Mm, I think the two words that describe it best is uh, reconnecting with nature and with yourself. So that's more words, but like the reconnecting, it's most important about Shinrin Yoku. We've always learned and been taught that we are outside of nature. We need to dominate nature with our mm -hmm. buildings and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. beat nature. But whereas in the East, they mm. believe that just like the plants and the animals and the elements, that we are part of one holistic system. Mm -hmm. And especially now in these yeah, in our modern society with now the global warming. We spend so much time on our screens, our smartphones. Yes. We are constantly online, connected with the whole world, mm -hmm. except with nature and with also ourselves. Because if consider that you are nature, mm -hmm. yeah, how does that influence your experience in nature? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, quoting a little bit uh, Yoda for, from Star Wars, I mean, the force yeah. is everywhere. Yeah, And exactly. it's nature, it's... Maybe that's a better one. The force. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Annette, may the force be with you. Yes. <laughs> may the force be with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.